Our next speaker, Chris Letherby, is going to present his talk, Naturalizing Psychedelic Spirituality. Once upon a time, a chemist discovered a molecule that could make you see things you'd never seen and feel things you'd never felt. A bunch of scientists said, this molecule causes psychotic hallucinations. Let's use it to understand what's wrong with the mentally ill. A bunch of hippies said, this molecule expands consciousness. Let's use it to grow spiritually and save the world. Then a bunch of governments said, enough of that, confiscate it. The molecule was LSD, banned nearly 50 years ago, but scientists are once more studying the effects of psychedelic drugs on humans. The results are intriguing. One or two psychedelic sessions can have lasting, positive psychological effects. What should we make of this? That's my thesis question. I'm trying to reconcile two plausible but seemingly incompatible claims. The first is the idea that psychedelics are spiritual agents. The second is philosophical naturalism. Naturalism says the natural world is all there is. There's no God, soul, or non-physical mind. Consciousness is information processing in the brain. What's the problem? Many philosophers think naturalism is probably true. But if it is true, it's hard to make sense of the idea that psychedelics are spiritual. So if we're hippies, we can hold that psychedelics are spiritual and reject naturalism. If we're philosophers, we can hold that naturalism is true and reject the idea that psychedelics are spiritual. Or there's my approach. We try to view psychedelics as spiritual in a way that's consistent with naturalism. I start with the neuroscience research into psychedelics. Then I compare this to the kinds of experiences people report. I think the science supports some of their claims. It doesn't support their claims to meet God or remember their past lives on LSD. But when they say they've gained self-knowledge, insight into their own personalities, or a broader perspective on their lives, I think the science backs them up. And these benefits I think we can call spiritual, even as naturalists. Why does it matter? Some people advocate using psychedelics as psychiatric treatments, but they could be more than that. There's evidence that regular ritual psychedelic use could help to prevent mental health problems, but our society lacks a way to think about this. We're one of the few cultures in history that doesn't promote ritualized changes to consciousness. We're basically a naturalistic culture that doesn't know how to fit spirituality into the picture. For these drugs to find a non-medical place in our society, we need a conception of them as spiritual agents that's consistent with naturalism, and that's what I'm trying to provide. Thank you.